Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Honey, I Joined a Cult. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, please go back and check it out. In that episode, we uh, saw where Tooth McScrubbers came from. Don't want to ruin any of that for you. And we also went ahead and created the Fellowship of Friendly Floss, and we have built our beautiful compound here, as you can see. So today I'm going to introduce you to our original dentist. We've got Amy Leaf, Kevin McQueen, Luke Johnson, and John Anderson. So they will make up our core people as we get going here. And we will start to accept followers into our cult. So let's go ahead and click play and get everything moving here. I'm going to move it up to fast speed here. So as you can see, we start off with a very basic cult. We have our, our lobby reception room where followers potential followers from the street can come in and talk and decide if they want to come in and see what's going on. And do we have our first follower here? Let's see. Here we go. Hannah, I can't read her last name, is our first follower. And she came right over here to the meditation studio. And she's going to go ahead and meditate with Luke Johnson here. Why she's meditating, she is giving us some faith and some money. Very important things in this game. We kind of have uh, three currencies, obviously money itself. Faith allows us to do, or excuse me, influence, allows us to do some research, missions, things like that. And then faith is what we use to sort of pay our employees. Can also be used for other things. So as you can see, we already got three followers and now they're all in the dental office praying to Asclepius. So, those are kind of our two initial rooms for our followers to use. Over here is the compound for our dentist and tooth mix scrubbers. Got our kitchen here, or not our kitchen, excuse me, our cantina, where they uh, get some food out of the vending machine here. Eventually, we'll go ahead and attach a kitchen to this so we can make gruel, burgers, meats and vegetables, things like that. Got our uh, <clears throat> dorm room over here, um, you know, some uh, dirty mattresses on the ground, some boxes to put your stuff in, and... Tooth McScrubbers, being the great person that he is, gave them a mirror and a plant. Over in the bathroom, we've got toilets, um, I mean buckets, and then we got buckets with strings on them for showers, and then some sink troughs to wash our hands. So that is our initial compound. Oh, we got another follow here, and they'll continue to do that. You can see our money and faith is going up. At the end of the day, Tooth McScrubbers will do a sermon for the dentist at 2200, so at 10 o'clock. And that is kind of the end of the day activity where we can uh, gain some faith and other things for our cult. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the bottom screen here. We have our, our overview of the cult. Here's all of our dentists. We can go ahead and customize. Let's say we want to change some stuff. We could do that. Return to the game here. Um, we are a second-rate HQ in Worship Asclepius. So we need to improve our average room prestige, increase the number of unique therapy rooms, and then obviously increase the capacity of the dental office. Now, these divine inspirations, right now there's only the darkness, or so far I've only seen darkness, and you can do uh, missions and things like that uh, to increase the darkness. Now, we have to get the cult leader sanctum, which we don't have quite yet. Speaking of getting the cult leader sanctum, we have our research screen here, which we need to, re to build our research office for. Um, and we can't quite scroll, so you can see we have to like research the maintenance room. Missions, oops, and so here's the sermon complete screen, and we'll go back to the research here in a second. Uh, it was a three out of five star sermon, so not bad. Four of our dentists took part, so tooth mix scrubbers is one, and then the four dentists. Uh, we lost some influence, but that's okay, we gained a lot of faith. Tooth mix scrubbers loses a little bit of mood and gains some energy when he does that. Now, eventually for the theme, so darkness would be our theme, we can get different altars to improve our theme. And it just reviews what we did. So we lost 20 grand over the last 24 hours, gained some faith, gained some influence, no PR and no heat. So PR is kind of our, our likelihood that high quality followers and hopefully eventually dentists would come and join the cult. Now, heat is the thing we don't want. Heat in, brings in the police, brings in protesters, Decreases the quality of people, I believe. So we, we want to keep our heat as low as possible. And then it shows us we have four dentists out of eight. So we can recruit four more of our followers to become dentists. And we got five out of 16 followers. And then just overall happiness down here. 
Anyways, back to the research screen. Uh, like I was saying, you have to research certain things, so like the maintenance room to fix items, PR missions where we can boost our PR, recreation room where our cultists, excuse me, our dentists, we're not a cult, uh, can go ahead and relax. So let's go ahead and close out that. And then the missions, we can send people, so research office, no time limit. So we can assign a dentist to go and acquire material and objects at the university in order to create a research office. So we are going to go ahead and assign um, Amy Leaf, and she's going to go do that mission for us so we can build ourselves a research office. So away she goes. This is the divine inspiration screen. So like I was saying, we have to build the leader sanctum in order to unlock this. Um, different missions, different things we can do here that our cult leader is able to do for us. Uh, this screen here just shows us our followers. So recruit, so once this bar reaches all the way up, we can attempt to recruit them. And then happy overall happiness, and then different traits. So we don't get to see their traits until they're recruited. Some are positive, some are negative traits. Let's go here to our dentist here where we're talking about traits. So for example, Tooth McScrubbers has a positive trait called on the leader, where he gets plus 12 to his mood, and it has infinite duration because he's the leader. Now, he also has Alpha Room debuff, negative six, and then, uh, ooh, he's gaining some. So he's getting hungry, so he'll change that by eating. Uh, he's had some horrific food because he ate it out of a vending machine, needs to use the bathroom, so those are our negative debuffs, and we got positive debuffs like free time, thing like that. So let's go ahead and click on John Anderson, and we can just go ahead and look at this screen here. So this is just an overall screen, and mood's going down. He can eat vending machine food, gruel, burgers, or meats and vegetables. Um, okay, here's some traits. So he's a very poor person, or very quality poor person, excuse me. Disorganized, so he loses two empathy and two planning. Hates dominoes, so in the recreation room, uh, the different games, dominoes is one of them. Uh, and strange, doomsday believer, negative effects when leaving cult are halved. Okay, and then dirty hands, so he didn't wash his hands after using the bathroom. Here, so he just leveled up, it looks like. So we could go ahead and improve, let's say, because um, what do we want him to be? I want him to be our, um, I want him to be our uh, dental office leader. So let's go ahead and improve his public speaking. And we're also going to go ahead and improve, I believe it's his empathy, bluffing. Yeah, bluffing. So those two skills improve his ability in the dental office. Here we can go ahead and assign him as the high priority for the dental office. And this is the schedule, similar to Prison Architect, where we can change things around. Now there's not a lot to do at the night time right now, but that's going to eventually change according to Soul Survivor, um, or excuse me, the, the makers of the game, Soul Survivor, I believe, right? Um, and Team 17? Yeah, Soul Survivor Games and Team 17. All right, we also have another level up here. So let's see. I want you to be our receptionist, Kevin McQueen. So I'm going to go ahead and assign you as receptionist. Now, we need to go ahead and see. Okay, so social improves his skill in the lobby. And I feel like there's another one. Yep, bluffing. So we'll go ahead and improve both of those in the lobby for him. So he will be a better person to recruit people that come in off the street. Uh, and we already leveled you up, didn't we? Yeah, we leveled you up. Don't know why it's telling me you still need to level up. And it looks like Amy Leaf is done with that mission, so let's go ahead and complete the mission. So we acquired the materials we needed to create our research office. So let's go ahead and build our research office. I'm thinking maybe just like right here. We got about eight grand. So let's go ahead and we'll click on this. I think it needs seven by seven. So it doesn't need to be terribly big. So maybe we just do two little rooms off here. So let's go foundation and then seven by six, eight by six. Here we go, seven by seven. So I'll go ahead and plop that down there. Come back in here. We're gonna select research office, put that there. Now let's go ahead and Put our tiles in, and we'll just do, because I'm eventually going to want this to come down this way anyways. One off. Have that like that. Now let's just go ahead and do a single door here. Ah, they're going into the dental office for the sermon. Allow them to worship. And then let's go build, and we'll put our door in to the research office. Nice. 
Let's go ahead and pick our objects. We can close out the sermon screen. Looks like we made 956 bucks, 243 faith, 27 influence. Very nice, very nice indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and filter rooms. We're gonna select the research office. So in the research office, we need a researcher's desk. And we will put that right there. And then a supercomputer. You can plop that down right there. And again, because Tooth McScrovers is such a great guy and so benevolent, let's go ahead and add a filing cabinet so they can stay organized. And how about a bookcase? That seems like something you'd find in a research office. And then let's do a wooden table here. And we'll put a table lamp on there so he can see in the dark. Now let's see if we have any de ornaments yet. We do not have any ornaments yet. Okay. So let's go back to decor and we'll put a potted plant on there. Beautiful. That's a nice research office if I've ever seen one. So the, the ornaments are things you can get from missions um, randomly and those just give you buffs to your room, prestige to your room. All right. So it looks like Luke Johnson is ready to level up. Have we assigned him to anything? No. So Luke, I think you're going to be our researcher. And let's go ahead and level up your research skills. And I think it is planning? No. Intelligence. All right. Intelligence. We can bump that up one. And then let's see if there's any other for the research room. Still trying to remember which goes with which. All right. Espionage. All right. So intelligence and espionage for Luke. And we'll get that going again. All right, so now that we've done that, we can do the maintenance room, the recreation room, and PR missions. I think the first thing we need to get is the maintenance room because I don't want things breaking down on us. So we'll go ahead and get that researching with Luke. Leveling up. Yeah, we already did that. But let's go ahead and read what Tooth McScrubber has to say. Dentists gain experience by forming tasks and going out on missions. By working hard, they can level up and improve their skills. Spend skill points to make your dentist... To make... Your dentists are more proficient in specific areas. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Hover over each skill to see more information on what areas it affects. Tip, you can manage the job priorities of your dentist to ensure your skilled workers are assigned to the right tasks. Beautiful. All right, so everyone's going to work now. It's uh, 7.30 in the morning, so we should start to see some followers coming back in. Tooth McScrubbers is hanging out in his room over there. And here come our followers. We're up to 8 out of 16 followers. Nice. Uh, we should be able to recruit someone soon. Let's go ahead and check here. Yeah, Hannah Hulin. Hulahan. Um, she was one of our first people. She's uh, almost ready to recruit. Yeah. I think she did she just flip over. Yep, so we could recruit her. Now, we don't have enough beds or bed space. Uh, we got five grand. We could do that. Um, but I want to get the research office first. So let's go ahead and get that. Yep, dentist using the room wander the compound to repair broken objects. Beautiful. Uh, and we will also go ahead and start to research the recreation room. So we'll put our maintenance room right here. So let's go ahead and build this. It's a little bit big of a maintenance room, but that's okay. And we'll put our door right there. And then let's also put... Hmm. I was going to put our kitchen here, wasn't I? Um, that's okay. What we'll have to do is probably just put the kitchen on this side and then move these tables around. Or maybe we extend the cantina. I think that's what we do. I think eventually what I want to do is extend the cantina, this room remove, turn this into a hallway. Yeah. So this will be fine now for now. So let's go to rooms, maintenance room, plop that down there. Uh, I want to go back to build. I want to go ahead and put a door in right there so they can pass through. All right, objects. Let's go floor here, paving stones, do, 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 and put that there. And then we're going to go to maintenance room. Select that. We need a cleaning cart. Drop that there. We need a workbench. Drop that there. And we need a tool trolley, and we can drop that there. All right, so now we have ourselves our very first maintenance room, and that'll ensure all of our equipment and items are staying well maintained. Let's go ahead and read what our pop-ups are. So we have our food-related injury. A dentist has gotten ill after eating with dirty hands. You know I'm starting to see how using an old trough of sink probably isn't going to be the most hygienic choice. 
After going to the toilet, dentists will struggle to clean their hands properly with a poor quality sink. Upgrading to a better sink will increase the chance of a dentist successfully cleaning their hands, which will help prevent illness. Indeed, indeed. One of your dentists is injured. An injured dentist will struggle to perform their duties effectively as they suffer the effects of their injury. Some injuries are minor and heal over time. Other requires medical attention either at the city hospital or in an on-site medical ward. So he's saying in... We're only going to see the dirty hands really related to food illness right now, but eventually we're going to need to build our own clinic and ensure our dentists can stay nice and healthy for us. All right, and let's see what this has to say here. So John Anderson, dirty hands whilst eating, six hours duration for the injury. He got fish mouth, um, no treatment required, unable to eat food. So he's going to be hungry for the next six hours. All right, so our research into the recreation room is done as well. So we'll go ahead and return there. Um, how do I want to do this? Like I said, I think eventually what we'll do is either put the kitchen here or extend the cantina and put the kitchen here. The rec room, I'm thinking maybe... Hmm. Yeah, they're going to go into the sermon now. That's fine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm thinking what I eventually want to do, because this will turn into a hallway and go back this way. And these rooms are eventually going to probably either turn and face that way, and I'm going to expand the bathroom that way. So let's do... Maybe we put the rec room over here. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go ahead and build our rec room over here. So we'll go foundation. And then let's make a nice... Mm. All right, let me go ahead and put the tiles down first because I want to make sure we can get around very easy, or rather easy. That, that, drop this down like this. I want to stay with my one unit off the fence there because balance is key. All right, and let's just bring that that way. Good. All right, so now we know we can go ahead and put our rec room somewhere in there. Build, foundation. All right, one unit off that, perfect. And I used the wrong stone. That's, ugh. I've been using it in wrong areas. I'll change that when we have more money. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and put our door in. And we'll put our door, let's do it right there. So people can see in. Go back to four. We're going to switch to this paving stone because that's the correct paving stone. And then we're going to go ahead and put our rec room in there. Okay, let's go ahead and select that. Perfect. And now we're going to go to objects and select our recreation room. So as you can see, we've got dominoes, a Rubik's Cube puzzle, slot machines, and a vinyl record player. It's all kind of expensive. So we'll go ahead and put our vinyl record player there. And let's put some slot, a slot machine there. And we've got about 14 grand left. So we'll put in a domino table. Um, let's put our domino table here. And then our Rubik's Cube there and then we'll also go ahead and put some the other decor in here we'll go ahead and give everyone a nice comfy chair put that there 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 and there see our prestige in our rooms going up so it has additional benefits as that goes up let's put in let's put some potted plants in oh we guess we're only going to put one potted plant in oh well, the important thing is our rec room is open and ready to go so our cultist <coughs> excuse me our dentist can enjoy and relax in there. All right, so Amy Leaf is ready to level up. She is listed, or excuse me, Kevin McLean is ready to level up. He's our receptionist, so we're gonna go ahead and improve his social and improve his bluffing. So he has reached his max level, so that's all the points we can put in for him. Let's go to our next person ready to level up. John Anderson is our preacher in the dental office so let's go ahead and improve his public speaking and improve his bluffing so he has also reached his max level that is not good we've got two more people to level up luke johnson is our researcher but he's not in the research room so, well because there's no research to be done right now so we're going to improve his intelligence and espionage and then last but not least amy leaf who is uh not been assigned to anything um She's got a buff of one on everything. I want Amy Leaf to be 
I want her to be in our meditation room too. So let's go ahead and increase empathy and increase, I believe, retail. Yeah. All right, there you go, Amy Leaf. And you are going to be our content one. All right, so let's go check and make sure everyone's been assigned to appropriate areas. So we can check here. Uh, here we go. All right, so we've got Amy Leaf in the meditation room. We've got John Anderson in the dental office, Kevin McQueen in the lobby, and Luke Johnson in the research office. So we still need to get someone into our maintenance room. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and unlock PR missions. Go ahead and get that to research. And we can close out the sermon. We lost three, almost $4,000. That's okay. All right, and they're all gonna go to sleep here soon. So I think what I want to do is probably start expanding this way and build some separate rooms or build a larger bunk room for our dentist. But we're at 21 minutes. I want to keep playing, but I know you guys like the short episode. So we're going to go ahead and end it there. I am so happy that our uh, Fellowship of Friendly Flossers is growing. I mean, we added what? The research office, the maintenance room, and a recreation room today. Got ourselves 13 followers, and we're getting ready to expand so we can have more dentist um, in our in our fellowship because the more dentists the better obviously so thank you for coming out today go ahead and like the video if you've enjoyed the content uh, comment on down below how you want me to play the honey i joined a cult if you want me to be a benevolent tooth mix scrubbers or if you want me to be mean and just leave everyone with the toilet bucket and they can deal with that and obviously if you've enjoyed it subscribe to tooth and scrubs gaming so you get all this great content on time and orderly fashion Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next Honey, I Joined a Cult video.